Lake Hayes, a favorite spot to swim in summer, but not at the moment due to the presence of a potentially toxic blue-green algae scum called cyanobacteria. It's very noticeable、um, because the lake does take on a blue-green color, especially when the when the algae concentrates and scums at the lake edge. While it's not yet known how wide the spread of the scum is in Lake Hayes, the blue-green algae can quite clearly be seen floating along the shorelines at the northern end of the lake. Ozan says. Tests are being carried out to determine how toxic the algae is. So now we're doing the detailed testing, which means taking water from various points around the lake, and then we combine that sample, so it's known as a composite sample, and then there's a cell count done on that and the bio volume, and we look at the result of that against guidelines, and that'll tell us where the lake sits in terms of its potential toxicity. Ozan says the algae has a tendency to be present in the lake, but it hasn't appeared in the last 20 years. She says it could be due to the long hot summer the region is experiencing. Lake Hayes had massive、um, uh, cyanobacteria blooms back in the 1970s, and I think the latest one was in 1981. And then the, the species changed, and we don't know why it's changed. There's lots of theories about it. She says the algae has a distinctive musky smell that attracts dogs. If they ate a copious amount of it,、mm. um, then they, you know they could be in danger. The bacteria can cause skin rashes or irritation if ingested by humans, and Ozan is advising the public to stay away and keep their dogs on leashes. She's unable to say when the algae might disappear. Although some of the wildlife on the lake is doing its best to clear up the problem, Mina Amso, the South Today.